hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how you can import and export files in Corel Draw so first thing open Corel Draw and then create a new document so let's say I want to create a business card so I can choose the size of a standard business card I can choose presets I can also choose primary color mode then choose rendering resolution I'm setting it to 300 dpi now I'm going to click OK so that I can have my business card page created so in this document I can have multiple pages so let's just start with how to import and export a document so let's first start with our import option so as you can see we are allowed to import some of the specific file formats inside our color draw so if you go to file and here you will find open option where you can typically open some of the coral draw related files okay so the all formats that it shows for import are listed in this list okay you can see some of the coral specific file formats which can be easily opened okay so once you open that it will basically open that document however when you want to open a document created by third-party program then you have to use import option okay so for that we make use of control I as shortcut okay and then it will ask me to open those specific file formats again here you see the number of third-party file formats which are acceptable inside our Corel Draw. So you have Kodak, Flash, then you have Adobe's Illustrator, then Photoshop's PST, PDF, Corel PaintShop Pro and many other file formats. These are possibly to import inside your color draw and you can make use of them so let's say I choose this file and when I choose that file it will show me the information about file and this ticker that basically starts to put your file on your business card okay so let me reduce its size and let's try and get access to its dimension you can increase or decrease that size and you can align that within your existing document in Coral Draw. okay so as you can see this is the file that I just imported from my desktop to Corel Draw document. Now, once you create your file, often you want to export that file into some other third party program. Okay, in such case, we make use of export option. So you can find those export option in your file and then export. As you can see, it has control E as shortcut and it allows you to export for Microsoft Office then it allows you to export HTML and web when you choose export for web it will allow you to export in PNG format JPG or GIF in case of export to HTML it will just slice up your document and you'll be able to use that as HTML file. Also, there is export for Office, so Office specific formats will be exported. So let's take a look at export options. And here you see the number of options you have for exporting your current document. So you can do 
PDF, JPG Illustrator, Paint Image, PNG, and all these third party and Corel specific file formats. Okay, and when you export these files, you can also use import options from file to import that same file. However, when you export or import any such file it will be treated as third-party format unless you are saving those files as Corel draw documents CDR files you are not going to able to import them for editing or any other purpose those will be treated as external graphic such as this as you can see, you cannot edit its color by changing any of their property. In such case, the best option is to create your graphics and then export them or save that as template or you can choose save as and then use CDR file. You can use CDT for making it template so you can reuse it in multiple graphics file. If you are using Illustrator, you can also do the same in such case. Okay, and depending on the version that you are using, you will be able to apply those version specific changes to your document. So these are some of the import and export options that you need to know while you are designing your ColorDraw document.